Just imagine losing 32 buses full of children. This is literally what diarrhea is doing every day with us. Diarrhea is defined as the passage of loose or liquid stools at least three times per day. In spite of being preventable and treatable, diarrhea statistics are mind-blowing. It accounts for one in nine child deaths globally. Diarrhea is the second leading cause of mortality in children younger than five years of age, causing over 2,000 child deaths each day. Besides, various complications like dehydration, convulsion, shock, blood infection, and malnutrition can occur following an episode of diarrhea. To sum up, diarrhea is among the biggest killers of children around the world. Diarrhea is clinically classified into three categories. Acute watery diarrhea, acute bloody diarrhea, and chronic or persistent diarrhea. The main difference between acute and chronic is the duration of illness. Acute diarrhea passes within two days to two weeks, while chronic diarrhea lasts longer than two weeks. Viral, bacterial or parasitic infections are major causes of acute diarrhea. Sometimes it can be a side effect of medicines. Although nearly all medicines may induce diarrhea, antibiotics, antidepressants, acid reducers like omeprazole, and chemotherapy drugs, are more likely to be the underlying cause. On the other hand, differential diagnoses of chronic diarrhea are vast and often indicate serious illnesses. Recurrent bowel infections, medicines, irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn disease and cystic fibrosis are the most common ones. In developing countries, chronic diarrhea is often due to recurrent gut infections, while other differential diagnoses are seen in developed countries. In short, chronic diarrhea is far less prevalent, more serious, and its underlying cause mainly depends on the country of residence. Fortunately, regardless of being acute or chronic, there are three critical nutritional factors, whose shortages increase the risk of diarrhea in children. The first micronutrient is vitamin A. It is an anti-infective agent that our body can't produce on its own. So, human body needs to get it from external sources like foods and supplements. Studies have shown that, vitamin A is an important player in enhancing the immune function, reducing inflammation, and maintaining the health of mucous membrane in the digestive system. Shortage of this vitamin, impairs function of immune system and makes the gut leaky. These changes result in an increase in burden of diarrheal diseases. To avoid vitamin A deficiency, World Health Organization recommends 50,000 IU for babies under 6 months of age, 100,000 IU for babies 6 to 12 months, and 200,000 IU for children older than 12 months of age provided every 4 to 6 months. Next micronutrient is zinc. Zinc boosts the immune system, enhances absorption of water and electrolytes, and enhances normal turnover of gut mucosa as well. These zinc effects facilitate the clearance of microorganism from digestive system. Because of such great effects on gut health, zinc supplementation is useful in treating childhood diarrhea. 10 mg per day for babies up to 6 months. And 20 mg per day for older babies for a period of 2 weeks is recommended in developing countries. To get more familiar with other amazing effects of zinc on human immune system, tap the link in right upper corner. In short, zinc and vitamin A deficiency are associated with persistent diarrhea. The third micronutrient is folate. Gut mucosa has a great capacity of self-renewal. Thanks to the rapidly generating epithelium, gut has the most rapid turnover rate in human body. Since folate is critical for normal cellular metabolic activities and normal cell growth, all tissues with rapid turnover need folate. In diarrheal diseases, Gut mucosa is damaged, does not function properly, and needs to repair to obtain its normal function again. Thereby the role of folic acid has been studied as adjuvant therapy for diarrhea. A study on over 2,000 Indian children indicated that folate deficiency is an independent predictor of diarrhea in children. Thanks for your watching. Please let me know the pediatric issues you are willing to learn. Write them in the comments for me. Farewell.